Have you ever made a good trade and regretted you didn't make more? And after giving this more thought, you concluded that if you just could make more in your best trades, you could do so much better as a trader. In this video presented by me, learn five keys to make more in those profitable trades. I'm Mike Bellafiore, and we're a long-standing proprietary trading firm in New York City with numerous highly successful traders, almost all of whom started their trading careers with SMB. Now stick around to the end for some special raw footage, which we've never released previously to the trading community from a monthly review at SMB of me discussing these solutions with an SMB trader. Okay, so during a monthly review, a trader lamented that he didn't make enough in a terrific trading opportunity. He made some, but not as much as he wanted, not as much as he deserved. Ever been there? The trader pinpointed a moment where he could have added to his winning position, but didn't. The trader surmised this was because he didn't have enough conviction to add to the trade. Now, I hear this a lot from traders but my sense is the trader and traders like him are focusing on the wrong problem. If you're focusing on the wrong problem, you can improve. And I know this trader and traders like him and maybe even you really wanted to improve. So I had a different take and I shared it. This different take would get the trader working on the right solution to fix this trading challenge. Okay, my take is these decisions are made easier in real time if you have a preset system for these trades. You don't wanna to leave too much to the whims of a particular moment in real time. Traders should develop a standard playbook for each trade and how to add on each trade. When a trade is working, you wanna have a system for how you will add and then the parameters for when you would add. Trading paralysis, ever felt this? and real time comes from not having this system in place. When you have this playbook, this system in place, then you just react. You beat, you squash, you crush trading paralysis. More importantly, your focus shifts to a more constructive mindset. In short, now you think about doing the right thing. You move away from worrying about whether the trade will be profitable and all the other worries. Worries like, am I gonna lose money? Should I be in this trade? Am I too big? Am I good at this trade? Should I take profits now? Where is the right stop? Is this the right stop? Would Shark be in this trade? All of those worries. Two, whether you're doing the right thing. That right thing is to put on more risk in the example above from this trader. If you haven't done this before the trade entry, this leaves too much to think about in real time. Think about it. The market's moving fast. You're in the moment of processing a heck of a lot of data. You're stressed from the potential to make or lose money. Your job is to do the right thing and not to make money. Put yourself in the best position to do the right thing by determining a preset system for the trade. And one more observation about all of this. Be specific. No, be super specific. Be super specific about when you will add, why you will add, how much you will add, and where you will stop out. Be specific about how much risk it is now the right thing to do to put on. No, be super specific. Below is a very special treat for you. We've never shared anything like this with the trading community. I had to get special permission from the traders in the room and remotely on the call to share this with you. We don't release these monthly review meetings, which you're about to watch. All right, so below is the raw footage of this conversation, this very conversation during a monthly meeting with a trader on our desk. These are real conversations we have with traders, with good traders, with pro traders. I hope you enjoy the sneak peek inside our training room of a monthly review at our firm. 
little side note, I'm wearing a ski hat because the room's cold and I get cold easily. I told you, the footage is raw and real. A good example is that TVTX um, Padufa with the warning label. Um, I made a good trade in that and I got pretty good size, but I covered a lot of it pretty early to kind of cover my risk and then like let a little bit of it ride. Whereas I probably should have been hitting a little more once the trade started working. Um, and I think that was a result of one, not having the real conviction yet to put on the size and, and scale up the trade. Uh, and two, you know, I was go, I was down going into the trade and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get over this, but it still does affect me, you know, the PL going into some of these situations. So I have a little bit of a different take on that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'd like to hear it. I, I, I do think, you know, look, we're discretionary traders, but I do think what makes those decisions easier in real time is if you have some sort of reset system for how you're going to treat that trade. So you say to yourself, okay, I've, I've got this trade and uh, it's worth this amount of risk. And if it starts to act in a certain way, you know, then I'm going to add to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's, you're leaving too much to the whims of how you feel at a given moment. If you know, thought about that prior, you know, you should really have a standard playbook for, hey, I'm definitely taking this trade. Hey, I'm definitely adding to this trade if, and when you're sitting there in real time and you're, you're seeing it happen, you're like, oh yeah, wait, that's, I've decided this already. Like this is the time where I should add to it. And it, it gives you a, a sense of calm mm -hmm. and it, it gets you to start thinking about just doing the right thing. Right. It, it moves away from, am I going to make money to, yeah. I might not do the right thing. Yeah. And this, this is setting up for one of those trades where I've already predetermined that I want to put on more risk. The right thing for me to do is to put on more risk. Yeah. And if you haven't if you haven't done that preset thinking, mm -hmm. I think it's I actually don't think you're gonna I wouldn't expect you to I wouldn't expect of myself to really get that right too many times in real time. Yeah. Um, yeah, it happens so quickly. Yeah. Um hundred percent. No, I I mean I a hundred percent like say, I'll just say one thing, which is you want to be super specific about all of this. I'm using very general words. Yeah. But, and, and Alance is super specific about this. And I'm not saying you should be a systematic trader. But I'm, what I'm saying is you should have a system and a playbook for, the trade. for how you're going to do it. And not every trade is going to be the same. But if you've thought of nine of the 10 things you should need to think about, now all you really need to do is think about one in real time instead of 10. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that makes a lot of sense. Solution summary. One, build a system for trading specific trade scenarios. We say build a playbook. All right. Two, be specific with that system. No, be super specific. Three, leave room for your discretion while in the moment as you are, remember, a discretionary trader. All right. Four, when that trade visits, shift your mindset to focusing on whether you have the appropriate risk on, not on whether you're gonna make or lose money in the trade. And then finally, five, let the results be what they will be. I do hope you found this video helpful for your trading. Okay, do you wanna learn more actionable trading ideas that you can implement starting tomorrow from SMB? Then watch the video, the number one reason the failure rate of day traders is so high and what you can do about it, appearing on your screen right now.